Hi, my name is Karen Crone, and I am the director of the Student Affairs Department at International TEFL Academy. So once a student contacts us for job search guidance, we typically start by helping answer their questions about teaching in whatever area of the world it is that they want to teach in. So we go over the job market with them in as much detail as possible. Um, the visa process, hiring seasons, how much they're going to make, is it a reality for them to actually teach in specific areas. The first time I went abroad, I was 15 years old and I actually went to Germany, Switzerland and Italy with a good friend of mine and I think through that experience, even though I was very young, that is what kind of sparked my interest in traveling more and learning more about cultural differences, yeah. So after I graduated from Portland State University in Oregon, I was working in a bar, loving my job, loving my friends, loving the Northwest. Um, but I realized that I needed a lot more in my life. I finally found an ad for a TEFL training school in Santiago, Chile. So immediately I knew that's exactly what I wanted to do. I called up the school, I talked to an advisor, I got information about it, and about maybe two or three weeks later I was calling my parents and my friends and everybody I knew and I was telling them that I was moving to Santiago, Chile, whether they liked it or not. My sister Carly would be so kind and she would send me months worth of Us Weeklies and In Touch and People magazines so my roommate Carrie and I could read through them. I think it's those little things that you don't realize that you actually enjoy doing even though it's embarrassing to say that yes I do like to read Us Weekly every once in a while um, but when you're overseas you kind of miss that kind of stuff. Over the past year over a thousand students have enrolled in the TEFL course with the hopes of teaching overseas and doing something different with their lives.